What causes psychosis? Nobody knows for sure, but we know that there's factors that contribute, and they are biological factors, psychological factors, and social factors. So an example of biological factors would be a family history. Psychosis, like most mental illnesses, tends to run in families. Another biological factor might be like a, an in utero exposure to a certain virus, which means a virus infecting the pregnant mother uh, at, the, at a certain times, certain types of viruses might make the child more susceptible to mental illness like schizophrenia. Psychological and social examples could be like extremely high stress, poverty, all these things are risk factors. They're not causative, but they're risk factors for schizophrenia. Um, so for example, we know that people who live in cities or immigrants are, are marginally more likely to get schizophrenia than people uh, that are not those things. And there are other physical causes, might be brain tumors, as I mentioned before. Then of course, I've not even talked about drug-induced psychosis. That deserves an old, a whole category onto itself because it's like a different beast. It's renowned for certain substances caused by things like amphetamine, skunk cannabis, whereas other substances like heroin, alcohol, are not, are, are not renowned for causing drug-induced psychosis. It's kind of different to usual psychosis like schizophrenia because it's temporary and it only lasts while the substance is in the body, which makes it difficult to treat because antipsychotics take about four to six weeks before they start working, although the sedative effects of antipsychotics or any sedative can be quicker, so you can sedate people but you can't really reverse a drug-induced psychosis in time because it doesn't last long enough to treat, if that makes sense.